Okay, we're back on the Tzadi Aleph from the base. The Gemara had brought another proof that Tchis HaMesim is from the Torah. Why? Because it says Oz Yoshir. It doesn't say Oz Shor Moshe. Oz Yoshir. Right? Moshe will sing. But he sang already. So evidently we see that he's going to sing in the future again. Tanya, Omer Reb Meir. Minan l'tchis ha-meis min ha-tor shen moz yoshim, moshev ne-yisul shiva zos l'ashem, shor lo nemar al-yoshim, mikan l'tchis ha-meis min ha-tor. Now it's interesting. I was thinking, the Machlokas, Reb Loza ben Azair and the Chachomim, right, kol yimei chayecho. Is it Lemosa Mashiach? Or does it mean that you have to be masked in Sitzvah not only during the daytime, even at nighttime? What's the Chiddush of even Lemosa Mashiach? Because since the Nisim of Egypt are going to pale compared to the Nisim of, of Mashiach, what's the point of even mentioning it? As the Mar gives, gives the Marshal. Right? With the, the snake and the bear and the, and, and, and the wolf and everything. What do we have to talk about this? But, you have, but if it's Ozzy Yosheh Moshe, what is he going to speak about? Ozzy Yosheh Moshe, what is he going to sing? See, seemingly he's going to sing the praises of Nitzrayim. Right? Ozzy Yosheh, it's a Shir Azos. What is he singing Shir Azos? If Lozad Lovo, there's not going to be, there's not going to be a, the, we're not going to mention the Yitzis Nitzrayim. So what are we, what, why will he sing the, the, the praises of Kriyas Yamsuf? Right? The whole story with, 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 with Paro. Right? So evidently, for, according to Rebbe, the way he's interpreting the Pesach, Oz Yoshir, that this Tchir Samesim, what will Moshe sing? If we bring out that he's going to sing the Shira, shira of, 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 of Mitzis Mitzrayim, so it will be a simon that Amos Kir Mitzis Mitzrayim Balevos. The Yoshir is going what? Los and Lovo is going on the Nisi Mitzrayim. You understand what I'm saying, Avrami? Ashira Hazos. Does it Oz Yoshir? No, no. This Rameir. Rameir. This Rameir. Rameir will concur with the opinion that even though the Nisei Mitzrayim will pale compared to what's going to happen, if you're never we're going we're to mention that. We're still going to mention the Nisei Mitzrayim. Chiyotzi B'dovra to Omer, Oz Yivne Yoshua Mizbeach Lashem. It says, Moshe, Yoshua will build a Mizbeach Lashem, Bono Lonem Ar Yivne. When's the Oz Yivne? This Posuk. Second. It says, Oz Yivne Yoshua Mizbeach Lashem, and Loki Yisrael Bahar Evol. Oz Yivne Yoshua Mizbeach Lashem, Bono Lonem Ar Yivne, Mi Kant Chesam Yisam in Torah. I don't, I don't understand. What do you see from that? That person speaking, Oz Yivne. No, because over there it's speaking. It's not speaking before Har Evil. It's ar, ar, at Har Evil, and it says Oz Yivne. That means in the future he's going to build it again on Har Evil, the Mizbeach Lashem. Right, Yeshua. So from here we see, again, Tchir Samesim in Torah. So we're asking Elamiato as Yivne Shlomo Boma Lechmosh Shokutz Shikutz Moav, right? The uh, wives of of Shlomo they were idolaters, and he's faulted for it. Shlomo, he's faulted. It says uh, so it's like he built, he will build. So it will also love at the time of what Tchias Hamis where he's going to build the Mizbeach. This is going to be Avodasora. Huh? Yivne Shlomo Boma Lechmosh. Shikates Moav, Behor Asher Alpne Yushalayim, Ulamolech, Shikates Moav. Posuk. Okay? So Mar asks, Hochrami di Yivne, Elamalav Akosuk Kilobona. The Torah values it as if he built it. It doesn't mean over there he actually he will build. 
that even though it came through the, or he didn't remove the Abode Zorah, which he should have, so he's faulted as if he built it. Yeah, but again, how does that, how does that reconcile the, the, the term? Now it's, it's future. You have given is, is osid, right? As given is Shlomo Bomo Lechmosh. I don't know exactly how the Gemara is answering it. Yeah, I understand that, but why is used to, the question is the future. The, the, ter, the, the tense is future, Yivne. Right? We'll bring a proof that it's going on Tchis HaMesim. It should say, it, 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 us bono, and he, he's faulted, therefore we consider it as if he built it. But we'll that's why he asked that question in the future tense. We would never say that, that it's counted in the future tense. Yeah. If we're going to test that, how would we know that? Because well, there's a fact. In fact, we know Shlomo wasn't involved in idolatry. It's a fact. We know that. He never did idolatry. So what does it mean, us bono? Bono means because he. He's, it, it, he's blamed as if he built it because he didn't remove it, and he tolerated it. Same thing. I understand. I understand. But but what's the Gemara's answer? But what's the Gemara saying? I know. I hear the question. Question is a good question. But what's the answer? It uses the future to, bl to, to 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 fault him as if he did build it. How does the future tense tell it? Let's say at Bozbono. Right? In the past, I still fault her. I know he wasn't an idolater. Shlomo never was involved in idolatry. So what does it say? He built, he built uh, 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 altars for, for idolatry. The answer is, it values as if he did, because he didn't remove it. Yeah, but the Mar is answering it. The Mar is answering it. What's the answer? What's the answer? So why does the Torah use, so why does the Torah use, why does the Pesach use a future tense? Right? That's the question. Yeah. The liability is already born out. Then it says he built it. Let's say it would have said the past. What? You hear what's bothering me? Yeah. We'll leave it for tomorrow. Okay. David, you work on it. We'll discuss it tomorrow.